APC National Executive Council meet over leadership crisis. Presidency accused powerful Nigerians of frustrating war against corruption. And in sport, Nigerians' representative at the 2018 CAF Cup loses to nil. These are many more stories in a moment. Welcome to PM News on Television Nigerian. I am Paula Achiche. The chairman of the Presidential Advisory Committee on Anti-Corruption, Syed Sage, says the federal government omitted some names from the list of alleged treasury looters for strategic reasons. Mr. Sage stated this in an interview with a national television. He noted that while the federal government was doing all it could to rid the country of corruption, some powerful personalities were frustrating the government's effort. He said that the reasons for government omission of some names from the list will be revealed in due time. The chairman of the presidential committee revealed that the anti-corruption drive of the administration is being frustrated by the elite, the educated and the powerful who are fighting the administration. The National Executive Committee of All Progressives Congress will today meet where it is expected, among other issues, to take a final decision on the tenure of the John Oyegun-led National Working Committee. Meetings have been ongoing among various interest groups within the party in reaction to President Mohamed Buhari's opposition to tenure elongation for the National Working Committee. Today's meeting of the National Executive Council of the party is expected to formally state the party's position on the tenure extension issue as well as the setup committees for the National Congress where a new leadership for the party is expected to emerge ahead of the 2019 general elections. For almost a decade, the Nigerian army have given their all to ensure that our dear country is not overrun by Boko Haram insurgents. Some have in the process paid the ultimate price, while many will forever live with indelible scars occasioned by their determination to protect the country, no matter the hurdle. Despite these, they have remained resolute and undaunted, and today, all territories the insurgents want to control of have been recaptured and normalcy restored. And now, for the first time in a long time, the end of Boko Haram is foreseeable. Therefore, the wisest thing for the remaining insurgents to do is to surrender today or face total destruction from the army. Remember, the Nigerian army will stop at nothing to ensure that total peace is restored in all parts of the country. So, be wise and embrace peace today or get ready to be ruthlessly dealt with. This message is brought to you by the Coalition on Conflict Resolution and Human Rights in Nigeria. Thanks for staying tuned. The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation on Sunday announced the completion of the outstanding audit of its group financial statement from the 2011 to 2016. The statement was formally approved by its board in line with the extant laws governing the operations of the corporation. The group executive director of finance and accounts of the corporation, Isia Kabdurazak, says the delivery of the audited financial statement would help foster better relationships with stakeholders and promote transparency and accountability. And in sports, Nigeria's representative at the ongoing Confederation Cup Aqua United was defeated by their Sudanese counterpart, Al-Hila, in the first leg of their match played off tie in Obdomen on Sunday. The Sudanese side, playing to home advantage, took the lead in the first 20 minutes of the game, and the Nigerian side, despite spirited efforts, were unable to counter the efforts of the Sudanese, while the match ended 2-0 in favor of the home side at full time. Aqua United now hope to overturn the deficit when they host the Sudanese on return leg of the tie at Goswil Akpabio International Stadium in Oyo on the 18th of April. The overall winner of the contest will proceed to the group stages of the competition. And on the foreign scene, China says it supports 
an investigation into suspected chemical attack on the Syrian rebel held town of Domaon. In a chat to reporters, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Cheng Chuang said that China opposed the use of chemical weapons by any country, any organization, any person, for any reason and any circumstances. According to him, China supports conducting a comprehensive, objective and just investigation in the relevant incident. He further explained that his country will stand behind any move to bring the responsible party to justice under the law. Cheng said the UN Security Council and the Organization for Prohibition of Chemical Weapons should continue their role as the main channel for dealing with the problem. U.S. President Donald Trump and the French leader Emmanuel Macron have vowed a strong response to suspected poison gas attack, which left dozens dead. Meanwhile, the United Nations and the UN Security Council is expected to discuss the crisis later today. That's the PM News on Television Nigerian. A recap of the headlines. APC National Executive Council meets over leadership crisis. Presidency accused powerful Nigerians of frustrating war against corruption. And in sports, Nigerians' representative at the 2018 CAF Cup loses 2 0. Before I go, I leave you with this. Foolishness is when you refuse the voice of reason for passion of immediate gratification. I am Paula Achiche. Do have yourself a wonderful day.